On this episode of Street Rat Garage, it's the battle of the patina savers. It's Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice versus Sweet Patina Patina Sauce. Who will come out on top? Let's find out. Okay, before we get started, I need to come and wash this car down real good and get rid of all this grease and debris from it going out on power tour and from it sitting in the pole barn for the last six or eight months or however long that's been. So I'm not gonna make you watch that part. So let's flash real quick and the car is gonna be prepped and ready to go. And then we'll start adding the patina savers. And we're back and the car is all nice and cleaned up. Scrubbed the whole entire thing, rinsed it off, dried it off. Now let's have a look at it to get our before shot. Okay, like I said, the whole car has been scrubbed down. Uh, the paint is laying flat and we got all of the debris off of it. Just to look at it real good, it, it is rather dull and it has, you know, no sheen. I mean, it's clean, it looks good. And if you're into a really dull finish with no luster at all, I guess it would work for you. But we're not bringing out the colors of this car. If you can see here, it has, there's some black underneath this uh, this red oxidizing type of primer. You can see some here, 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 and you can see a lot here, and there's actually some exposed metal right there that definitely needs to be uh, protected. When I scrubbed it, it, it was real thin in this spot, and it, it broke through all the way to the metal. So we need to bring back that color. We got blue, we got red, and we have black that needs to be brought out some more. The hood, the hood is really dull and it's cracked pretty bad. The fender, it has some a little bit of rusting. I, there was a lot more. I got rid of most of the rust that was on there. So this door is really jacked up. It's all cracked. It's actually almost two shades of blue because it's faded out so bad. I think this door was repaired and repainted. There's a lot of, a lot of Bondo on this side. And uh, this is a spot where it got hit as well. A lot of Bondo in this side. But the paint's basically, basically the same on both sides. I think we'll see a lot of, a lot of good comparison on this trunk lid though. I mean, there's more, uh, more paint on this side than this side, but right here in the middle, you're gonna see a nice blend of what the two products can do. Uh, the roof, there's not much metal, well, not much exposed metal. It's still half covered up with the uh, what's left of the vinyl, but that's mostly just rust right there. But we'll do it too. Now we do have rust holes right there. So some good old duct tape should take care of that. But that's, uh, that's it. Let's go ahead and start applying this shine juice and get the results in. We will be using the same type of microfiber towel to apply both products. This, this is the exact same towel come from the exact same package, family dollar, super cheapy. So now at first glance, while I'm looking at both of these products, I am noticing that the cans are absolutely identical. It has the same shape, the same grooves, the same, uh, the same little indentation to tell you how to uh, remove the cap and the same little safety tab. Exactly 100% the same. And they all have pretty strict warnings on the back. Uh, don't breathe it. Don't uh, come in contact with eyes or skin. If inhaled, remove person to a well-ventilated area. I mean, if you read all the uh, the hazards on the back of this, both of these bottles, uh, you probably would be incredibly afraid to even open it. But uh, I've used, I've used uh, at least the shine juice before. This is my first time using the sweet patina. I didn't have any problems, but definitely read the back of the label and do as it says, not as I'm doing. So let's jump right into it. First off, we are going to start with 
sweet patina sauce. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a brown root beer type of color. And uh, the wind's blowing in the opposite direction, so I can't really smell it. It's really thin, and it spreads super easy. I mean, it just goes right on there. So let's do this trunk lid on both products, and then we will time lapse and do the whole entire car. Now, it does say on the sweet patina that you should apply it thinly and then wait 20 minutes and wipe it back off any extra residue. So that's what we're going to do. Let me get this quarter panel here with the leftovers. So that was that was not much and it did this half of the trunk lid quick and easy. Now let's switch to the shine juice. Next up, Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice. If I mess up the names or get them backwards, I apologize. Shine Juice, Patina Sauce. So, sauce, juice. Now, whoa, that's also thin and it's a little bit lighter. It's not as root beer, it's more regular beer. Bud Lightish. Now, same thing. It's still just as thin and goes on just as smooth, quick and easy. It seems to have a little bit different odor to it, or I'm standing more downwind on this side of the car. I don't know, but it seems like I couldn't smell the uh, sauce as much as I can but anyway it's not about the smell it's about the look so there is the shine juice all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for 20 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and time-lapse the entire car while we wait for this to dry and then we will come back and do the comparison on the back deck lid first and then we'll go to the rest of the car. Okay now we're gonna start the right half of the car we're gonna go ahead and time lapse this. Uh, before we do I will say there is a there is a little bit of a difference in the textures and uh, consistencies of these products so they're definitely formulated different so I think we're I think we're gonna see a difference. I don't think this is going to be, you know, pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead. Time lapse in three, two, one. sauce side done now it is time to switch different towel different bottle vice grip garage shine juice ready three two one of the car are completed what we're going to do if we're going to let it sit for let's go ahead and say 30 minutes we'll let the we'll let the back set too it's been a little bit longer but uh i'm gonna go grab a sandwich and we will be right back 
and we're back. So I have not wiped the car down yet. We will do that, but let's take a look and see what happens and compare before wiping it back down. Now, as you can see, the vice grip shine juice side is still a, it's still a bit wet. So when I was applying this, I tried to use the same amount, but the shine juice seems a little thicker. So I think we got more shine juice on than we did uh, patina sauce. So the patina, if we come here and rub our hands across this, is already 100% dry. Now, the vice grip shine juice is not dry yet. And though it is, it is drying. You can see it right in this. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but right in this area, it is dry. So if we gave this probably another 30 minutes or so, it'd probably, probably be dried up, but definitely thicker than the sauce. So, I mean, you can see it on the, the whole entirety of the car. It's a lot shinier than the sauce side for now. Uh, let's go ahead and look down. Let's just go ahead and look down this side. This patina sauce has a nice even finish and it's dry to the touch already, even though you're supposed to wipe it down, it's still dry, but we'll go ahead and do as they instructed. Still dry, still dry. It's pretty dry without wiping it down. Back trunk lid, it's all dry. This, uh, this is the uh, vice grip side right here. And it's actually, it's actually pretty dry, except for just a little bit of thickness right there. And that was my fault. And just a touch right here, that's a little bit thick. But if we compare this side to this side, without wiping it down, it seems pretty even. There's a little bit more shine on the vice grip side than the patina sauce side. But so both sides are smooth. So you can see the, you can see it's more, more shiny over here, even though we have more paint over here. Maybe we can get, maybe you can see it here, more shiny, more matte finish. Still looks good, still looks good. We go down the quarter panel. A lot of the quarter panels dry. It's just basically the hood. There's a little bit of, of wet there, but it's it's still drying. In all fairness, we did do the uh, patina sauce side first. It looks good, it's shiny. This fender is just a little bit more glossy than this fender. It's hard to tell, real hard to tell, but just a hair more shiny on the vice grip side. But like I said, that's before we wipe the car down for its final inspection. So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna take two new microfiber towels, both being the same, still coming out of that same package. And we're gonna wipe both sides, make sure they're all nice and dry. And then we'll come back for our final comparison. Let's go ahead and hit it with a little bit more time lapse. Sweet patina side done. Now time for the Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice. Let's go ahead and have a look both sides of the car and compare. I went ahead and removed our tape line here. Patina sauce, shine juice. 
Now that we've went ahead and wiped off the excess, they feel they feel the, exactly the same <laughs> to the touch. Both sides are completely dry. There's no no stickiness, nothing. There's it's it's fine, perfectly fine on both sides. If we compare them and look into the paint, they look the same, at least on the hood. Let's uh let's come over here to the fender side. It's all still dry. It's got a good matte finish to it. The colors are popping out. Same on the door. Door's got a lot of, still has a lot of roughness. I think if you really wanted to get in here and wet sand this and bring some of these colors out, it would look a lot better. It's kind of like this. If we had a little bit more of this, maybe down in this area, I think that would look nice quarter panel, see like in the quarter panel, panel, some more of this would be nice in this area. See how that, it brought out the shine and the colors all throughout that quarter panel. And it's all completely, completely dry. No, no sticky, nothing getting stuck in it. Now to the uh, shine juice side. Now the texture's a little bit different, you know, of the fender but this could also benefit from some sanding and bring out some more of these colors but we do have some color here in the door which pretty much matches the same as the uh the fender on the other side everything is completely completely dry i mean just slides right on right on off nothing's getting stuck in it nothing's on my hand Nice and smooth all the way back. Now, this trunk lid, you can see, plainly see the dividing line where we had it taped off. We look back and forth, rubber hand across it. Look at it real close. What's the difference? Dividing line paint, dividing line paint. Is it a little more shiny still? I don't, that's, that's hard to say. Maybe if you look real close, dividing line here, is it shinier? Might be a little bit shinier, but it's really, you got you gotta get right in it in order to tell Okay, so the only difference I can see is when you get right down into it, the shine juice side is a hair, I mean just a little bit shinier than the patina sauce side. And it is just barely. Can we even tell it on the fenders? this side to this side and I'm having a hard time telling on the fenders walking all walking that far so pretty much if I take this car to any car show I don't think anybody's gonna notice that one side's done in patina sauce and one side's done in shine juice pretty much what I'm saying is yeah, it's, it, it's pretty much the same. They're both good products. And they both uh, make the car look really good. Now there is one difference and it is, uh, it's a sizable difference, but the top came out different. The rust on the top soaked in all of the all of the sweet patina, but the Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice is still on top. Now, 
that may be because we didn't clean it good enough. As you can see, when we rubbed it off, there's still quite a bit of residue that's on this top. If this was cleaned better and maybe even wet sanded, we probably wouldn't see the difference. But what it tells me is, yes, the shine juice is thicker and it, uh, it's sitting on top of the sitting on top of the leftover debris and rust where the uh, patina sauce sort of it got sucked in because we know we already know the patina sauce is thinner than the than this shine juice but like I said if we cleaned it properly I don't think you would see that at all so what product do we think won this challenge was it the patina sauce or was it the shine juice well, in my comparison, in my opinion, I would say it's pretty much a, it's a tie. They both did great. This is thinner. This is thicker. This dries faster. This doesn't dry as fast. This one soaked in a little bit more. This one sat on top a little bit more. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. But at the end of the day, before you go to the car show, or when you wind up at the car show, it's, it's going to look the same. So prep the car the way you're supposed to prep the car, and there's, there's going to be like almost zero difference. Two really great products that uh, will definitely get the job done. Now you're wondering, some of you, like, how long does this last? Well, this... This is not a permanent solution to your issues. If you keep this car inside, covered up, it's gonna last probably half a year, probably six months. But if this is one that you're just gonna set outside and rain, I guess it depends on your climate. Here in the Midwest, it rains and snows and wind and debris flying around, it's crazy everything is nuts it's not going to last nearly as long as if you keep your vehicle inside and cover it up as for price they both they're about the same thing 52 55 dollars uh, plus shipping they're both easy to get you go to the sweet patina website you go to vice grip garage website they arrive within three to five days no big deal right to your door so they pretty much do the same amount of vehicles three c10s three F-150s, three D-150s, or one 150 and a D-50, and a, yeah, you, you get the point. Three trucks, three full-size 1970 model trucks. So what do you do? You still don't know what to do? I got the answer. Just buy both. I mean, you're gonna use this much product, you know, in a year or two anyway. If you got multiple cars, you're definitely gonna be using more, so. Buy the patina, buy the patina sauce, buy the shine juice, just buy them both and compare. I'm pretty sure that you'll see it's the same. Mix them together. That I'd be interested to see what happens if you did that. But uh, yeah, they're good products made by good people. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Street Rat Garage. Until next time.